Right, starting off, I'm already in the Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you how to make how I make my stickers out of images already in the Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Insert Image, and you can see I was searching for nail polish. Um, that's just what I'm going to show you because I customized the colors. So um, whatever image you're wanting, just search for it over here. And I'm going to use this image right here. So just click it, make sure it's set to be inserted, and click that button. So now here we go. Um, you could definitely just go ahead and make this sticker like that, but I want it just to be the bottle. So if you go over here, uh, you can hide certain aspects, meaning not to print or not to cut that part of the image. So I don't want this rectangle, so I'm going to click the little eyeball and it will hide it from you. So that's good. And now I've made stickers that are that pink color, but my favorite color is purple, so you can change the colors. And let me show you how. Um, on each of these things, if you click them, a box will come out to the side and you can select the colors you want. So that's why I was like, oh my gosh, I can make purple ones. I'm not gonna make purple because I already have some. I'm gonna go with this really pretty color right here. So I'm gonna get this part right here, which is the polish itself, and I'm gonna change that to this color. And then I'm gonna click on the bottle itself, and I'm gonna go lighter. So we're gonna click maybe Jade. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then the little sliver, which is right here, I'm going to go to Jade again. And down here on the custom color, I'm just going to go lighter. So there you go. So that's how you can get an image there with different colors. Um, if I was to go ahead and hit go right now, this is where it would cut out all your pieces. You can see they're on different mats. But I want to make a sticker, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the X. Click on your image and go over here and hit flatten. When you do this, it merges the layers to a single printable image. You'll see that it, it takes those black cut lines off. And right beside it over here, you see a little printer item. So that tells you that it's going to just print and then cut around it. So once we hit go, oh, sorry, for all my stickers, I like to make them a certain height. That way I know that they're not going to be too big. And to do that, just click your image, hit edit, and for the height, I like to go with 1.5. And that gives me a pretty good size sticker. Now I'm going to hit go. You see there's only one little nail polish. Well, if you go over here to Project Copies, I've learned that you can put 25 of these suckers on one page. So I'm going to do 25 and apply. And they're lined up really nice and perfect for you, ready to cut out. The Cricut already puts your registration marks, so all you have to do is hit print. So there's one more thing you can do. If you go to more matte settings, this is where you can take the bleed off. The Cricut automatically puts like a little fuzzy buffer around each image. That way, if the cutting starts getting a little bit off, you won't have white around your image. So if you take the bleed off, it's it's exactly how the image will be printed but if your Cricut is not calibrated correctly you could have white spots along the image I don't really care how the stickers look when they're printed out on the page so I go ahead and keep the bleed on just to make sure I'm not gonna have white so I'm gonna keep the bleed and I'm gonna make sure that I have my sticker paper in my printer and hit print One last step before it prints is you want to go and take the fit to page option off. 
obviously you want to print it in color. I don't know why that was on black and white. And then just go ahead and print your stickers. Before you begin cutting, you obviously these are stickers. You don't want it to be cut all the way through. Then you're going to make a separately cut out sticker. Each sticker is not going to be stuck on the sheet. So you want to make sure that you change your settings to custom. So on your Cricut, turn your dial on to custom. Okay, so now that I am on custom, you have the option to select all the custom options and I'm going to click the 3M post-it notes and this works for that paper that I got so once you have that you're ready to cut now that I have my sheet of stickers printed out you can see there's the registration marks I've learned that you really want to have your printer on the best settings because if these black marks are not really crisp it may not read the registration marks so just make sure that you've got plenty of ink and it's good to go so I've also found because of the sticker paper that I bought you can't really tell but these are full shipping labels and they have two slits on them and when I used a fresh sticky mat whenever I was peeling the page up it broke those lines and it caused some of my stickers to lift so I like using a really well worn Cricut mat and then I just secure it down with some washi. Also it's very important that you get this lined up correctly. If it's not, I found that my cuts are a little bit off so I want to make sure that down here it's right there on that line. And because this is not a very sticky mat, I just put some washi down. Because there's nothing worse than looking over and seeing the page lifted on your Cricut. It's horrible. Alright, now I'm going to take it over and put it in the Cricut. Okay, now I have my paper loaded in the Cricut. Sorry if it's a little bit dim in here, but if you have really bright lights, sometimes the cut, print and cut light won't register. So, just showing you that my dial is on custom. I've loaded my paper, and now I'm ready to go ahead and press. So now it reads the registration marks, and this takes a little bit. Okay, so now I've pulled it out of the machine, and this is where I'm going to carefully take off the washi. And also very carefully pull up the paper. If I started going at the corner, it's going to crack those lines on the back. So 
I just make sure I can try to get it from all angles. And then I lift it up as one. There you go. And now he, I just go ahead and I trim off these registration marks. So oh, these cut really nicely. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the page. So let me take one off. So if you can see there, it lifts up awesome, just like a, a, a sticker. So using that 3M post-it note, it's the right one to go with. And then just put my nail sticker down. No white around the edges. It's perfect. So I hope that helps you make some stickers of your own. Customize the images, change the colors and whatnot. Just have fun.